in this video we calculate the work in a gas expansion against a constant external pressure. All right, in the last video we have seen uh, how to derive a generic expression for the calculation of work in any gas expansion. And our root expression, the one that, that always works for any gas expansion, expansion is this one. What we do right now is just um, uh, apply this expression to the simplest case for, I guess, expansion, and is one that is very common, and that's the one where you have a constant external pressure. Okay, so uh, think about this gas. You have two moles of an ideal gas at 298 Kelvin in a volume uh, that is 10 liters. Now, we're going to try to expand that gas against a constant external pressure of one atmosphere. And uh, we're going to do that until the volume doubles. Okay, so the question is, well, uh, what is the amount of work done by the system in this gas expansion. It's pretty obvious that the agent of the work is the system. The system is pushing out the piston into the surroundings and that should be a negative work. Okay, right, So let's try to see how uh, that works out from that expression. Again, this is the simplest case for a gas expansion because if the, if the pressure is constant, then what that means is that you can factor it out of the uh, integral and then the only thing that you have to integrate is this differential of V, which is simply V. Okay, so let's see how that works. Uh, work is going to be equal to minus P external, and then the integral of differential of V evaluate from V1 to V2. Okay, but that is just simply minus P external V that you have to evaluate from V1 to V2, but that is simply uh, minus P external V2 minus V1, or work is equal to minus P external delta V. Okay, notice how simple the expression turns out to be. You simply have to uh, multiply the external pressure uh, times the change in volume in the gas and that will be the work. Okay, so we're actually going to punch in the numbers that we have for that expression just to show you that you have to be a little bit careful with the units in this particular case. Okay, notice that uh, work is usually going to be expressed in joules and joules is an SI unit. What that means is that uh, you also have to use SI units for the external pressure and for the volume. And generally it's going to be the case that uh, the data provided in the statement of problems will not be in SI units, and that is the case here. Notice that the external pressure is given in ATMs, but ATM is not the SI unit of pressure. Uh, the SI unit of pressure is the Pascal. And at the same time, volume is given in liters, Yes, for convenience, but of course the SA unit of volume is not liters but cubic meters. Okay, so really the only problem uh, or the only challenge in this problem would be uh, to make sure that we have the units in the SA system. All right, so let's try to do that. All right, so minus the external, which is 1.00 ATM that we have to transform to Pascal, and the conversion factor is uh, there's 101.325 Pascals for every ATM. All right, so that will be your pressure in Pascal, and then uh, we have to multiply here by the volume. The change in volume will be 20 liters minus 10 liters. That's final minus initial. Uh, but then we have to transform this into uh, cubic meters, which is the uh, SI unit of volume. So we have to uh, notice that for every cubic meter, there's a thousand liters. Okay, so. Uh, you calculate that those numbers and the amount of work is going to be negative, which should be, and then is minus 1.01, 10 to the 3 joules. Okay, so this gas is performing about a thousand joules uh, when it pushes against that external pressure. And again, from the definition uh, of work in uh, chemistry and the life sciences, that is a negative sign and that signifies that is the system that is doing work on the surroundings and the system is losing energy, right? It's transferring, uh, or this process transfer, uh, transfers a uh, thousand joules out of the system into the surroundings. Okay, great. So uh, this is just an illustration for the simplest case for, I guess, expansion. I think it is one uh, where we can see uh, how work, uh, how the concept of work plays out. Okay, and uh, it's, a, it's a useful one. Uh, we're going to wrap up this video by considering a case in which we could uh, repeat this same gas expansion 
but we could do it in a vacuum. Okay, so if there's a vacuum, that means that there's actually no uh, uh, gas molecules colliding with this piston or anything like that. Uh, uh, suppose the pi piston is massless and frictionless, then what will happen is that the external pressure is zero. If you're doing, the, again, this in a perfect vacuum, the, a perfect vacuum does not exist, but this is just a useful limit to illustrate a point. Okay, so if you're in a perfect vacuum, then the idea is that um, uh, the external pressure is zero. And that means that this gas would actually not be doing any work during this expansion against a perfect uh, ex uh, vacuum. Uh, and that illustrates a, a very important point, and that is in order to do work, you have to oppose a force. If there's no force, as uh, is the case against a perfect vacuum, then no work can be done. Okay, so notice how uh, this idea of working in a perfect vacuum sets the lower limit for work, okay? If you are working uh, against no force, then you're doing no work. However, work is something useful, and we'd like to extract as much of it as possible, right? So while working against a vacuum provides the lower limit for work, something more useful would be how can we extract maximum work, right? What is the maximum amount of work that you can extract from a gas expansion like this, right? Or what we're going to answer in the next video would be, how is it, uh, what, what procedure can you devise in order to take a gas from this uh, set of initial conditions to that set of initial conditions and extract the maximum amount of work, okay? And again, that is going to be done in the next video. Uh, to just to summarize very briefly this video, what we've done is we've examined the simplest case for a gas expansion, which is uh, uh, that that is done against a uh, sorry against a constant external pressure. And what we've seen is that the expression for work in a gas expansion against a constant external pressure is very simple. It's just that expression, and really the only challenge is to be able to plug in the variable.